Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. This will be the first episode in a new tutorial series that I'm calling Let's Print Something. In this series, I'll cover everything you need to know to get started with resin and filament-based printing. Now, I will have these videos organized into two different playlists, so make sure that you're watching the right playlist for the right type of printing that you're going to be doing. One playlist will be for resin, and the other one will be for filament. So to kick this series off, I'm going to show you how to download and organize all of your files for 3D printing. And if you're wondering why I would choose to start there, it's because a lot of times when people buy these printers and they're waiting for them to arrive, they'll start collecting files. So I want to make sure if that's what you're doing, you have the tools to get the most out of it. All right, let's get to it. So as far as where to get files, you have a few different choices, but the three main ones are going to be My Mini Factory, Thingiverse, and Mini Hoarder. Now each one of these sites has a huge variety of different models. My Mini Factory and Mini Hoarder are going to be a good mix of free and paid for. Thingiverse, as far as I know, is all free models. So I definitely recommend that you check all of them out and see the different models that each one has to offer. But one of these sites offers a service that I think sets them apart from the rest. And that's why I've asked them to be a partner of the channel. And that's Mini Hoarder. They don't just offer an online marketplace where you can buy and sell models, they also offer online cloud storage so you can keep your collection safe and organized. It also gives you the added bonus of being able to access your files from anywhere. To me, that's a really important service. I have a huge collection that I've built up from different Patreons and Kickstarters, and to lose those models due to a bad hard drive or a random power outage would be devastating. So if you don't know by now, take it from me. One of the first things you're going to do is start collecting files. One file will turn into three, that's going to turn into ten, and then before you know it, you're going to have 50 gigs worth of files that you have to try to organize. And the reason I've asked Mini Hoarder to be a partner is because I want to give you all the option to not only keep your files organized, but also to store them in a place that you don't have to worry about ever losing them. So if this sounds like a service that you're interested in, then you can use my code Let's Print Something, all one word, with an exclamation mark, to get your first month on any tier for free. If you do want to give it a try and you sign up, please comment down below, let me know how big your collection is. I'm curious to hear how many of you are just starting out and how many of you have already collected a ton of files. But I'm also going to give you some tips for keeping your files organized on Windows as well, so that you have both options and you can decide what's best for you. Alright, so I absolutely love this model from Yasashi. I'm going to download it using the link over here, which is download all files. Now, if this was a large pack, maybe if it was like townsfolk or something like that, and there was only one model that you were looking for, typically on most of these sites, you can scroll down and see what models are contained within this pack. So here on Thingiverse, you can see that it says thing files, just one. So it's just that one file. So we can go back up here and hit download all files. Then after a few seconds, this window should come up. This is just a directory asking where you want to save the files to. I always recommend you click on desktop because it makes the files easy to find so that you can start organizing them. And this is the same download and organization process that I use for every site, whether it's Mini Hoarder, My Mini Factory, Patreon, Kickstarter, whatever it might be. Typically, you always have this window that comes up asking you where to save it, and I'll save it to my desktop. So you can see in the bottom left that the file's done downloading. So if we minimize this window, we can find it on our desktop. I also have a pack of models here from one of the Patreons I support, just to show you what it's like whenever you have a, a file that has a bunch of different models in it. Now one thing you'll notice is that both of these files have this zipper symbol on them. And that of course means that these are zipped files. So typically Windows should be able to open these up just fine if you double click on them. It should open up the files that are inside. But before you do that, what I recommend doing is right clicking anywhere where you're off of any icon. So right click, and then drop down to where it says new, and create a folder. I would do that for each one of the files you just downloaded. And then what we're going to do is we're going to name them after the artist that you got these files from. So if we go back to Thingiverse, you can see that it says by Yasashi. So we're just going to highlight this area here, hit Control C. Then we're going to minimize this window again. We're going to double click slowly on the text of the file, and that'll highlight it. So once again, if you double click quickly, it'll open the file but you can double click slowly and it should give you the option to change the text. If it doesn't, you can always right click and hit rename. Then you can hit control V to put in the name of the artist. So this has now become the main folder for this artist. So anytime that I download models from this artist, I can put them in this folder and keep them organized. You can organize even further by going into the file by double clicking. And then in here, you can do that same process, right click, go down to new, create a new folder. So you could do something like you could create multiple different folders, one for elves and one for orcs, all from this same artist. Or if you don't want to create 
a folder just for that artist if you want to create different folders each just you know for different elf models or different orc models that you find you can do that too this is really up to you creating different files that uh, organize in a way that works for you is the best thing that you can do to help you keep things organized and keep it from getting overwhelming whenever you start downloading a ton of files so what i'm going to do is i'm now going to create this folder i'm going to rename it or i'm sorry i'm going to rename it troll now i'm going to go over and open up that zip folder and i'm just going to highlight everything that's inside and drag it over to the troll folder that I just created. So we've just copied everything from our zip folder over to the one we just created that's under our Yasashi file. So now if we go in here, we'll find all those files, which really it's just going to be the license agreement, the readme, the images, and then the file from Thingiverse. Typically you don't have to worry about these last three, just the files, but it's up to you if you want to keep those or not. And then if we go in here, you should find your troll model. And that's the same process that I use whenever I have a folder that has a bunch of models in it, like what you would download from a Patreon. Starts off the same way. We're going to grab the name of the artist. You can always type this in if you want, but I'm lazy, so I just use cut and paste. In this case, it's Omega Modelos. If you guys haven't checked out his work before, I definitely recommend it. I love his models. Then we're going to come back to the main folder we created, highlight the name again, hit Control V, and import the name of the artist. Then I'm going to open that folder up by double-clicking on it create another folder inside. Then I'm going to take the name of this month's release and put it on that folder. Then again, we're going to open the zip file. We're going to highlight everything inside that file and just click and drag it over. And then once you've done that and you've copied everything over from the zip files, you can either highlight them and hit delete or just drag them to the trash bin. So now the files that we downloaded are pretty well organized in these two folders, but we can actually take it another step further. So I created another folder and I'm going to call this one something like 3D Downloads. And now I'm going to click and drag and take both of my folders and put them in that one. So you can see how this is actually going to make things a little bit easier to find what you're looking for and keep stuff organized. And like I said, this is all totally customizable. You could very easily make these subfolders something like fantasy and sci-fi, or heroes and monsters. Whatever works for your collection, whatever works for the way that you like to organize, definitely go with that. I just wanted to make sure that you had the tools to know how to do that. And then once you've done all that, storing your files on Mini Hoarder is really easy. Just go to their site and create an account if you don't already have one. Make sure you use my code if you're just starting out. Go to My Hoard, then click on Upload Files. Once here, hit the Windows key on your keyboard, and then hit the File icon. And you should see the same directory as when you downloaded your files. So you'll click on desktop. And then from here, what I recommend is just grab the top of the window and slide it over and grab the entire folder you just created and bring it over and drop it. As you can see, the folders and all the files we put in them have been brought over. So now scroll down and just hit upload files. And then once everything's done, you may have to refresh the page, but you'll have something like this file count here in the center. And then on the left here, you'll see how much storage you've used and how much you have left. If you want to see your collection, you can click on My Hoard. From here, scroll down until you see Current Directory, and then under that, you'll see that we have the main folder that we created. If you click on that, then you'll find the subfolders we created with each one of those artist names. If you click on there, you'll find the other folders we created underneath those. And then you'll find the files, and you can select each one of those individually and download them one at a time, or you can select all of them and download them, whatever works best for you. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. Like I said, this is a very basic technique, but I wanted to make sure we started with the basics and we can work our way up from there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can be notified when the next one comes out. All right, let's go print something.